everybody, Wolfie here. Um, we're gonna do some muskrat sets today. Um, I thought I'd show you what I'm looking for and a few easy uh, dam sets for with some con bears. Um, it's all quick and easy. We'll start with the dam itself. Um, doesn't look like much from here, but. Um, as we come across, we find lots of little spots where the muskrats have been active. Um, right here you can see the fresh chewed hay and roots. Um, there's a couple better spots. Here you can see where they've come up over the dam. Once again, lots of nice fresh chewed growth. We got a few spots like that where they've been hanging out. Then we get over here to the good side of the dam. Um, got to almost ignore this spot. There's the fresh stuff is washed in with the flow of the water. Lots of fresh roots and chewed off stuff here. Then we've got some really nice easy to set spots like this little overflow. The muskrats will use this on a regular basis to go up and down over the dam. Um, there's a few spots along here. You can see some more water flow down here. A little mucky getting down here but you can see some good spots. Some fresh shine on that chunk of wood. And it goes right on down into the big marsh down below the dam here. So we've got a few spots to work with. Let me get the camera set up on the tripod and I'll show you a few of the sets. Okay, we're back. Um, first set's a good, quick, easy set. Um, take a stake and clean out the overflow a bit. Push everything down the little channel. And in goes the stake. Now, using the little 110 Magnum. Said they're quick and easy to set. One hand to compre easily compress the spring. Don't get me wrong, these things close with a lot of force. Um, 110 pounds of pressure. Now you want to set, keep your trigger wires uh, straight away from the dog and you keep them off to have the whole thing set off to one side of the trap so there's like a little tunnel through and chain, chain loop over the stake and then the trap goes down and into the channel. Now you want to make sure they go through the actual trap so cam in another stake on this side Another one in here, just something to keep the trap good and stable. And that's about it. That's the entire set. Quick and easy. Get them on their way through where they're naturally going to go. And on to the next one. Okay, next set is down here where we where I showed you the fresh muskrat sign on the little chunk of log there. We've got this passage here where the water's flowing down through. 
already some sticks in here, so we'll take advantage of them. But on the same note, using these one of these great little H stands that I um, picked up a few years ago, and it works pretty good. Yeah, get your crap set. Put the loop down through, or sorry, put the stand down through the chain loop. That way it becomes the anchor for the trap. And for those that don't know, the trap just locks down over the top of the stand. Put your spring up so the chain's not too long. Keep your chain out of the way while you're placing your trap. And you just set it in so they're going to swim right through it. Take one of these stakes out. Add a bit of stabilizing to it. One's not quite long enough. There you go. Now, don't really need any stabilizers on this when it's on the stand. It holds it pretty solid. Yeah, another one, quick and easy. And it goes, muskrat travels through, and he's got to swim right through the trap. On to the next one. We got one more to go. Okay, for this last one, well, actually, it won't be the last. I've got several to set up out here today. We're going to take advantage of one of these spots where they're coming up against the dam. We're going after these nice fresh hay shoots that are coming up. So we're going to dig out a little spot here against the dam. Keep lots of the nice fresh stuff. Maybe we collect some extra. all piled up here against the little cubby. Another 110. And another fancy little H stand. I gotta get me a whole bunch more of these, or make a bunch. A friend of mine that I work with is a pretty good welder, so I'll probably get him to weld me up a bunch. I just have to buy the stock and some welding rods. This one you want set up good and solid. Set it right down here at the cubby. So you've got lots of room on each side for the trap to fire. Take some of the extra junk, set it over top of the spring, Help guide every guide them in through the actual trap. Now we're also going to cheat a little bit on this one and put some lure in. Got some great stuff. Uh, if I can get the lid off. Made this up last year, or no, the year before. 
small chunk of stick. And set it right in here at the back of the cubby, just above the water line. Figure out where I just put the lid. Nope, that's a rough. I just lost my lid. <laughs> Good thing I got extra lid to, at the cabin. There it is. Knew it was here someplace. That would have been a quite the walk trying not to spill that all the way back. Yep, yeah, there we go. Three nice little rat sets. Get the muskrats. Figured it's a good time to do the video. Spring run is starting. One thing I noticed, I didn't offset the trigger. Let's go off to one side. if I can get a good view of it here for you. There's the cubby set against the dam. And yeah, thanks a lot everyone for watching. Um, I hope it helps with someone, with, maybe a beginner with some ideas for sets for their and what to look for for the muskrats. Um, everyone have a great day. I'm going to get to work and get a bunch more sets out.